The speech that McAvoy does in that series, first show actually, first episode. Woo! Speech to the Northwestern kids. And uh, um, it simultaneously brought cheers across the country and also people throwing their beer cans at their television sets. We were, we were completely comfortable with both reactions. <laughs> The day we shot that, um, what you, when you shoot a television series, you don't get to shoot very rarely do they order the whole series. You shoot a pilot, you shoot one episode, which is the first episode of what would be the first season if they decide to give you a TV series. Even with Aaron, you know, it's no guarantee. So there's pressure on that, that first show, that pilot. We had 18 days to shoot it, which in the movie world, it's not a lot of time. Television, it's actually a lot of time. But still, it's with Aaron's dialogue, which is heavy and a lot of dialogue, it's not a lot of time. And originally, that speech was not in the script. It was just something that uh, they referred to that had happened previously. And the producers looked at it and said, we got to see it happen. we got to witness it. Now, they were smart because Aaron and company said, let's do it, and he started working on that right away, late in the rehearsal process, actually. And uh, um, they decided to put that, obviously, right in the first five, six, eight minutes of the, of the show, which is when America, now with the attention span of a gnat, <laughs> is sitting there with a the remote control. You got eight minutes. And if we don't hook them, or piss them off. We'll take both. <laughs> we got to do it in that first five, ten minutes. So that's why the speech was placed where it was, and uh, one reason. Now, Eric kept rewriting it, rewriting it, and rewriting it, making it better and better and better and better. So I had to keep rememorizing it, rememorizing it, <laughs> which was fine. You know, I mean, I'm all in. I'm all in. Because when you get a speech like that, if you're an actor that's been around as long as I have. You know it when you see it. You, you, they don't come along that often. And flat out is the reason, the reason I won the Emmy, was that speech. And so there's pressure on that speech. There's, there's pressure and so you wanna, you know, it was day three of an 18-day shoot that we shot that, so we're very early. It's the top of the second inning as far as our game of newsroom is going. And I get there and we shot it north of L.A. in a college of the canyons because they have purple seats, which we could fake Northwestern. <laughs> and I look over at what's called the Video Village, which is where all the people, Aaron and directors, uh, sit and all that, producers. And there's number two, three, and four from HBO. Never seen them. They're here today. The New York producers flew in. They're here. Aaron's there. Aaron on the way to the set said, by the way, you know the speech um, is as important as it is to you, it's twice as important to me. <laughs> Little pep talk. <laughs> and three of the actors showed up. They weren't even working that day. And actors never show up when they don't have to work. And there they were. And uh, initially I thought, oh my God, what's support? Oh, crazy. Was, Wait a minute, they want to see if they're going to have a job. Because it really is riding on the speech. And they also, to be honest, we love Jeff, we think he's great, but is he McAvoy? Can he take this role and just make it his own. And you know, nobody, everybody was doing this. And they'd ask me if I wanted cue cards and teleprompters, which apparently is a big deal on Broadway now. <laughs> you gotta get on the internet. <laughs> anyway, I said, no, fuck, we don't have, it's, you know, we don't have, no, 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 get away from me. <laughs> so, all in. And you know it's the ninth inning and you got to hit it out of the park and you get, you know, today's the day. So we line up and, uh, and we're going to shoot it and it's everybody's, you know, tense and action. And, you know, take one. I, I hit it. it <clears throat> you know, I mean, you hit it. And Aaron comes walking over and they, at, the, at the end of the take and he goes, 
Okay, you're, you're pitching a no-hitter, so I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kim, the script supervisor, who I'd been working with rememorizing and rememorizing all the time. She came over and she just whispered, now you know you can do it. <laughs>